see what there's a few teams here we can put together and this is one as well calorie plus 358 atlanta minus 143 by the way shop around will not do you any good because that's the best price i've seen on atalanta in maybe 15 or 16 different books draw plus 287 under over is at 2.75 with the over being at minus 102 calorie are getting a plus 0.75 star and it's minus 112 um oh, nick atalanta flying at the moment calorie probably in the worst two three sides in sierra I'm not sure calories score, and that's at plus 169, but I'm sure Atlanta scored twice, and that's at minus 132. So do you just go money line at minus 143 or minus 132, Atlanta scored twice? Yeah, you know me. I kind of like to keep the prices a little lower, so money line's fine. I, I'm personally going to go with the three-quarter goal line. Uh, I know mm. one goal would, would only pay half, but the price is, is pretty pretty attractive. L listen, Atlanta, very impressive 3-0 win. Uh, at Napoli last weekend and this I mean this is a big game if you want to be a Champions League side in any league you got to win these type of matches and we're looking at Atalanta they what said seven points back of Bologna they have the game in hand so essentially you win this you're four points back they could get that even closer that this is their chance they cannot let this type of match slip up and I, I they know that and I think that, that this is going to be a really focused effort on their part a win's a win no matter how they get it it might take a you know might be very tough might be very gritty uh, they aren't always the best road team. We've talked about that plenty of times. But I will give them credit that their five road wins they do have this year, they're basically just beating up on all the bottom half of the table teams. They beat Sassuolo, Verona, Empoli, and, and, and Genoa. And, of course, Calary is, is going to be right in the middle of that, that grouping. So I do have to say Atalanta should win this match. And while we usually talk about their, their offense and not so much their defense, the four wins I just mentioned against those bottom half teams – they allowed just one goal total and an average of 0.47 expected goals per match. So clearly they are a better class. It's just will they get theirs uh, in the net, which I, I think I think they will. They had that really brutal stretch, um, I guess, over the last month where they played each of the top four teams in succession. But aside from that, there are other seven matches around that. They've won them all, scored 22 goals. So, again, just against the top level teams in here, maybe they're going to struggle a little bit. But against everybody else, they've proven they can – they can get the job done. So I like Atalanta to come in here on the road. Don't necessarily think it's going to be super easy for them, but because of how important this match is, uh, I think they're going to they're going to dig it, their heels in. They're going to find a way, and they're going to get this one. Yeah, it's a straightforward. If they score twice, they win the game at minus one thirty-two. Although you always want to keep Atalanta on the. Uh on your side Mina at minus 143 they are getting so much better and going to Napoli last week and winning in the manner that they won they listen uh, for me they are a top four side they should be a top four side because they've really been they've really been really fun to watch in all honesty especially when you have like Skamaka back at his best and really pushing and, and pressing and trying to win back there was just a different level of determination when compared to Napoli. Napoli just looked so bland by comparison to this Atalanta side that was so ferocious. And they've got so many options up front. Um, obviously, Lookman's always there who can always make a, make the difference. Di Catilare has been injured, so it's about whether or not he'll be back for this matchup as well. Cagliari is always a, a difficult team to play against. Um, obviously, we know that it's a Claudio uh, Ranieri side, but... Um, they haven't had such a bad time of it recently, two wins in their last four. Um, they can be, they've got players like Luvumbo who can make the difference. And you know what? Italy was really going crazy in the sense that they've been talking about, you know, why it was so impressive that Atalanta destroyed Napoli. And it was like, well, you know, this isn't a team that's very good away from home. And Nick just mentioned that as well. We have this understanding that Na that that Atalanta, who have only gotten 19 points in their last 15 matches away from home, it's just not a great team, right? Like, that's what we think, because at home, they're so brilliant. But actually, they have the same, same amount of points as Bologna, yet we think of Bologna as being much better away from home. And if, if anything, they've scored seven more goals than Bologna away from home. So I don't know why we have that, because I do think... But maybe it is because, like, like, like Nick says, it comes across um, as them just bullying the smaller teams rather than really showing the difference against the bigger sides. This is another small team. Cagliari is not a team that's filled with uh, the very best at the moment. Um, this is a great time to collect another three points and really try to make a, a push for the top four. 
one thing that that I'm a little bit scared about is that they did lose midweek, mid-week against Fiorentina in the Coppa Italia. I just don't know if energies will be as high to play that game. But regardless of anything, it's it's if it's Milan or it's Fiorentina, I would have been so for me it should be an easy Atalanta win. Couldn't agree more. Uh, I, I've, I'm just putting down here Milan, Bologna, Atalanta and Inter in a parlay. And, uh, and, and honestly, you're not going to believe the price that it comes out with. So I'm really interested in the chat that you actually come out and uh, give me the old vote of confidence. And if you do, we will add it. Um, and it's north of plus 500. Uh, OK, let's have a little look at the official picks. And we're all getting involved here. Atalanta and under four and a half at plus 100. Atalanta and under three and a half at plus 140. And Atalanta minus 0.75 at minus 108. So uh, there's plenty there. Look at that. Maybe 240. That'd be about uh, plus 330. Uh, no one's double dipped neither. So, yeah, Atalanta to pick up all three points in Calorie. You can't go to Napoli, win 3 0, and then go to Calorie and not pick up three points again. You might as well have uh, not bothered last week. So, yeah, please go from strength to strength. 